What's up guys, today we're back at the property. I'm starting off my Saturday morning here on the computer. Like always, I'm playing a little bit of farm sim, watching some videos, and just having a great time. But it looks like it has warmed up here quite a bit. It's over 50 degrees, uh, so I think it's time to get going here on a few projects. Now on the way out, I do want to grab a bottle of water, a few snacks, uh, since I e did eat a few hours ago here. And we always have to come check up here on Diesel. He's always out and about running around. And that is just so awesome here. We have so much land. Now, a few times, guys, we did have to kind of go looking for him. But he was just kind of running in those fields back there. Uh, nothing too far here. But let's give him a bowl of food. Watch, guys. He's going to come right on over. Yep. He sees us coming with the bag of food. There we have it. So that's pretty good. Now, a few things, guys. I really want to make this backyard even better. I really want a swimming pool. I also want maybe a nice patio area. And maybe an outdoor uh, kind of TV up on the wall here. That way, we can watch watch some football games, some sport games, and have a great time out here. So let me know down below what you guys uh, thought of that. And I do appreciate all the support. On the previous video, we recently got that shed, and that is coming to us so handy here for us so far. Now there's a full mods list up on my website if you guys would like to go check it on out. But let's come around here to the garage. Now guys, I've been working with the county getting all the permits ready to go. We do have a builder lined up. Next week, we are building our shop, our detached garage. I can't wait. Uh, I've been designing it and it's kind of going to be a surprise. I might show it a few days early over on Instagram if you guys would like to go check that on out here. But at the garage, guys, we've won too many sport cars and today we are going to go try to solve that problem here let's see if we get these garage doors opened up here sometimes uh, they just don't want to open up here for us let's get all these doors open on up here I did have the wrong code there luckily we are ready to go here so what is better than two Porsches guys that is the question you guys are gonna find out here so we have a GT4 and a GT3 what is better you guys are gonna find on out here in a little bit but before we do that we actually have to do a few things we need to bring two cars over to the dealership and and we only have a trailer that fits one here. So I actually talked to the neighbor across the street. And guess what, guys? He likes cars and trucks. He has a few off-road vehicles. And uh, he's actually going to let us borrow his truck and trailer. But before we go over there, uh, chat and get the keys to his uh, pretty sweet rig here, I do want to plant some more trees around the property. We really don't have any. One thing, I really want some trees to kind of give us some privacy there. That way, we don't always just look out the window, see our neighbors. There's some trees uh, kind of all the way around around uh, we don't really have many and I, I really do like trees now I want to get some maybe apple trees things like that I think that'll be also pretty neat as well uh, to get apples in the backyard with the homeowner series, I am trying to be as realistic as possible. You guys seem to be really liking these videos, which is a lot of fun. Uh, this is one of my top favorite series to film here. But over here on this side, we'll give some privacy to the neighbors. I think that's a pretty nice thing. But I will say, guys, I really, really do like uh, seeing the farm fields here in the background. Let's do some more trees. We'll plant a few different types, probably some birch trees uh, there, kind of right alongside there. Now, we do need a gate as well. I am talking with a few gate companies uh, so we should be good to go there. Just want to add some trees. Just kind of want the privacy. You don't always want to look out the window and see our neighbor's uh, houses there. It's nice to just see a uh, land on either side here. Now down here, I do want to add just a few. I think have it kind of nice and turn there. Perfect. And maybe we want to add a few here as well. But I think for now, let's just kind of get the basic kind of layout of the trees in. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for me, please drop them down below. Your feedback is much appreciated. It really does help out with the channel. It's a lot of fun uh, to make videos that both you guys and I enjoy here. So I think that's pretty much it with the trees for now. Maybe we'll plant probably one or two there, but we're good to go. All right, let's head on over, get the neighbor's truck and trailer. Now, guys, that is a pretty far walk here. Why don't we take the mountain bike? Uh, we haven't really been riding this here. I think the wife and the kids have been using this as well. We definitely need to pick up a few more of these as well. And I just really do like this bike a lot here. But it, that is so cool. We have such neat neighbors, uh, neighbors that really just kind of want to have a great time and are very helpful here. But look at that, guys. This is it, guys. So our neighbor has, I believe this is a 2018 Ram 2500 Mega Cab here. 
he did say it's a three inch lift and we do a bf goodrich tires on it this truck looks sweet really i uh, really do like this truck here now look at this guys he is a huge car collection he said he has some old classics like the old four bronco uh some older shelby's and he does have some newer sport cars i think he said he had a ferrari and a lamborghini so it is pretty sweet here but this is actually a stacker true there's a lift in here and you could fit one car on top of the other that's what we need let's hop on in we'll take a quick look at the truck now we can't scratch it we can't uh damage this truck uh since it's our neighbors and we got to take good care of it but wow this thing guys this is such a neat truck here and i will say it's good when you know people because that way instead of renting instead of uh paying uh, to get the cars delivered it's a lot easier for us uh just to take this and go over there and i mean these cars are a lot of money as well so it's nice to just know that they're in good hands as well but let's get this back down the driveway and we'll get both cars loaded on up here now it's about probably a 20 minute drive to the dealership and we still do have to do the paperwork on it uh, they have to do one final inspection on both our cars that we are trading in here but we are not buying a brand new car it is pre-owned i think it is uh, very uh, new though we'll, we'll talk all those details when we get over there but I think we'll set up the camera and tripod and it will get everything loaded up here really quickly we'll put this down here now huge shout goes out to Lance for sending this over this is such a neat trailer like I did touch upon guys we're trading in both the GT4 and the GT3 let's get them fired up uh, let's wake up a few neighbors that are sleeping in a bit late and put them in the trailer All right, I got all four keys. I got the paperwork. We're all ready to go here. Each car did have two keys. I usually uh, kind of put one away there with the paperwork, but let's hop in the comments. Let's head on out. Now, I do want to give you guys a few details here on what uh, we do have here. So, we actually have a 2016 GT3, uh, and we are trading that in that for probably around, I would say, $140,000. We do have a GT4, which is brand new, only 2,000 miles on it. We bought that for 120. We're trading it in uh, due to the demand for 115 thousand dollars. We are trading in over 200 thousand dollars worth of cars, and we are buying a used 2019 GT3 RS, guys. I've been wanting one of these cars here in Farm Sim. It's kind of uh, the best of both worlds here. It has a huge wing on it, and it's one of the best Porsche track cars here. Now, guys, the best part about it is their car has a thousand miles on it. It's been garage kept, and we. We are paying $162,000 here for it. Brand new. If we were to buy this with zero miles on it, it will probably be over $240,000. With cars, they do depreciate here. And we just got lucky. You guys just saw a glimpse of it here. I can't wait to take this new car for a spin. And look at it there, guys. That GT3 looks sweet here. And we're going with a pretty epic color this time around here. Usually, we would go with kind of blue, white, or kind Kind of one of the basic cars but i thought what better than uh, to get a bright car here it is guys we sold two porsches for one porsche which is even better a thousand miles this thing is pretty sweet here look at that guys carbon fiber hood roof and wing look at this wing guys one of the biggest wings you could buy on a factory car we have a single lug nut here carbon ceramic brakes we have the gt3 rs logo along the side here one of the best looking cars and like it did touch upon i thought why don't we just try something out here buy a color that really stands out and this definitely does that here for a fact so let's get uh, both these cars unloaded we'll kind of get them side by side probably one on either side and we'll take a look at the differences we'll finish the paperwork and we'll head home we have both our cars unloaded and next to the GT3 RS. You guys can see there is a pretty big difference. This car is much wider than this and this does have a different wing here. A little bit of a different body arrow on it. Uh, but you guys can see they are pretty similar here. But let's head inside here, do the paperwork because I want to get home and I definitely want to take this for a rip here to end today. 
Alright guys, we actually just got a huge check back for over $35,000 since uh, we were trading into cars for more than what we were paying. I mean, this all works out here for us. Even though we're getting an uh, 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 even better car, we are putting some money back here in the bank, which is definitely a pretty good thing. Let's hop on in. We have the sport buckets. I mean, this car is fully loaded, but when you buy use a year old, you do get a huge discount with the depreciation. But wow, this thing looks pretty sweet here. Let me know guys down below. What type of car person are you? Are do you like the Lamborghinis, the Ferraris, or Porsches? I kind of like them all. And I will say, guys, I really want to see if we could get a pretty sweet Lamborghini in the game. It's not yet in. I might try to get it. Maybe we might end up buying a third car once we get our garage built. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing. But let's hop back in the comments. Let's head on back to the house. And uh, I think we'll actually drop this, uh, drop the truck and trailer off. That way we are uh, kind of good to go with a neighbor. Like I did touch upon, guys, there's a full mods list up on my website. I really do like the realism I have here in these videos, and I really want to get back to doing a lot of yard projects here. We might be renting some equipment, which should be a lot of fun, but once we get the garage built, I do want to do kind of a full build on the garage with flooring, the lights, everything like that, and we do have a lot of things, including the backyard. Uh, so if you do have any cool ideas for those, please let me know here, because your feedback's much appreciated, really helps out the channel, and it helps me make even better videos here but we're starting off the year strong and it's gonna get even better we have so many unique mods here in the works and I definitely want to get a project truck here for us as well since we did sell our uh other two trucks when we did move here but let's kind of uh, get the truck and trailer put here I think we're fine uh, to just kind of drive it back over there we'll come get our mountain bike here in a bit maybe I will send one of the kids uh, to come get it here but I want to get this car unloaded and I want to go take it for a rip and then put it in the garage this Cummins was pretty neat here. Maybe we might just have to buy another Cummins. I really do like it a lot. And this trailer is pretty nice here. But guys, this is a pretty big trailer. And good thing we didn't have to rent it or even buy one of these because I think it's just too big. Let's get the RS fired on up here. Now we do need to put an exhaust to make this as loud as can be. But being bright, uh, colored like this and having a big ring and a loud exhaust means everyone uh, will be looking at us going down the road, which uh, could be a good thing. Could also will be uh, not so good but let's kind of take this for a rip here have a little bit of fun with a new to us gt3 rs this car is definitely much faster than our other two Porsches. Definitely a pretty neat thing, but the biggest thing, guys, we have one less car we have to insure, uh, have to do the maintenance, just kind of one less car we have to worry about, which I think is an even better uh, part of the deal here. Let's kind of bring this on in now. Guys, I also really want to see if we can find a Ford GT because those are going up in value, and I think maybe that might just be our next car. We do have the 2017 Ford GT, but maybe a new one would be a pretty sweet thing but hope you guys are excited for what's to come garage going up next week and i can't wait for that as well but hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was a lot of fun we added some trees around the property we were able to borrow our neighbor's truck and trailer and we sold two cars for one but thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more